So a lot of people will say that you need to do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. And look, I get it from a, from a long-term life perspective. Yeah, fine. Find a job or find a vocation that you enjoy, something that makes you happy over the long term. I get that, but that that is not the plan to follow for your daily life at all. Because if if you do what makes you happy right now, well, a piece of cake will make you happy right now. Or laying in bed for an extra 48 minutes will make you happy right now. So there's lots of things that'll make you happy right now, but in the long run, they don't do anything for you. They make you soft, they make you weak. And in the long run, they will not make you happy in life. So, sure, find a job that's gonna make you happy in the long term. But for today, don't do what makes you happy. Do what challenges you. Do what pushes you. Do what makes you better. One of the things you're gonna to have to understand is that no matter what road you take in life, there are always going to be things you have to do that you just don't wanna fucking do, right? And, and mind you, it's always a choice. But in order to, to, to live the way that you see fit for yourself, there are always gonna be things that you have to do that you don't wanna fucking do. It's 50% love, 50% archer, 50% work. It's always going to be that way. I don't care how much you invest in your particular line of love, your line of work. But you don't become personally identified with the, with the down part. You remember the good part, or you really invest your heart and soul into the good part. Anybody can do the shit they want to do when they feel like doing it. Okay, anybody can go to the gym when they feel like going to the gym. Anybody could show up to work and give 100% when they feel good about what they're working on. But that's not what makes successful people successful. What makes successful people successful is what they do when they don't feel like it. Okay, it's what you do when you don't feel like going to the gym and you're dragging ass. What do you do when you wake up the next day? What do you do when somebody's not there watching you? What do you do when you have to either do what it is you know you're supposed to do without somebody there to supervise you or you get to take the playoff because no one's going to know the difference. Those are the things that make up success and that's not motivation. That's discipline. That's discipline to do the shit that you don't want to do because you know it needs to be fucking done. All right. That's the quality that makes people successful. You're always gonna have to do shit that you don't wanna do. Don't let it distract you or, or depress you in such a way that you can't fulfill the love obligation that you have within you. Do it gracefully. Do it happily. Don't personally identify with it. It's just see it for what it is. It's the nighttime that allows you to appreciate the day. It's the winter time that allows you to enjoy the summer. It is the other side of the coin and it will always be there. I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train probably about 25% of the time. The rest of the time I went because I am disciplined. You don't feel like going through that shit on a Wednesday morning when you wake up, but you have to do it because you're disciplined. You're either a disciplined individual or you are not a disciplined individual. I do not need to be motivated. I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to work, I'm gonna do it. For several days, I don't wanna do shit. I procrastinate like a motherfucker. This is one of those days, man. So, we have to always remember, our purpose will always be there. I have nothing in front of me right now. No race, no nothing. But the purpose is myself. Your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. On those bad days, when you think that you're alone, you just might be. Because you know why? No one else wants to fucking do it. So you be the motherfucker that always gets it done. Motivation is crap. It's shit. People right now, 
maybe listen to this shit, they'll be motivated to go run. If it's cold somewhere where they're at, a lot of my friends will shut that door, go back inside. That's motivation. It comes and go as how you feel. I like a motherfucker whose life is imploded. Ain't got shit in life and says, still gotta fucking get after it today, man. <laughs>